well for the most part kept the opponent at bay so umpisa na ating first quarter siya nga ang mga nakauna dyan kaya na Tigalo hitting a couple of baskets early in the game he set the tone uh, para sa kanila kaya naman eh hanggang dulo naisip namin na, na siya talaga ang uh, dahilan kung bakit uh, ganito ang laro nila marami naman ang contribute even si Ashlo maganda yung kanyang contribution in this game kahit for oh, rebounds and defense lang but Malaking bagay yung magandang simula ni Igalo because he really set the tone, as you said, Charlie. At uh, yun ang talagang nagpadali ng buhay ng NLEX the rest of the way. 11 points lamang ang nagawa ng Phoenix in the first quarter. 21 to 11 was our first quarter score. In the second quarter, medyo nabuhay na itong NLEX uh, lalo. No? They started hitting inside. Nice pass. Jam mula kay Olu inside. And we saw more teamwork sa panig ng light shirts. Phoenix seemed to be out of sync. Out of sync ang uh, layo talaga ng uh, the way uh, you know what we know Phoenix is capable of. Even without Calvin and Pueba, we know what they can do as a team. Pero ang layo nun eh, do sa level of play ng Phoenix na alam natin versus nung Phoenix team na nakita natin in the first half. Who's really struggled. Uh, well, I would still give uh, you know attribute everything to the way NLEX played defense in the first half alone. Four-point play ni Hazul, which you saw a while ago, made this into a 13-point game entering the third quarter. And then showing signs of life, though. It went up to a 20-point lead para sa NLEX, but Phoenix, with guys like Chua, Hazul, and, uh, well, si Matthew Wright at that point, hindi pa masado. Nakahapon naman, nababa nga nila ng apat itong lamang uh, that stage for them. Uh, NLEX had everything to hold them up. Yes, NLEX was still able to make some uh, recoveries despite the run that Phoenix did. Naka 13 to 0 yun, uh, Charlie. Makikita mo naman kahit pa paano ang NLEX ay nakakahanap pa rin ng paraan to, uh, give, to give that space in between uh, them and Phoenix. So that big basket mula kay Justin Chua, nice pass mula kay Matthew Wright, cut the lead down to just two. And then a strange 30 seconds transpired. Miscue on the part of Barilla which gave the ball back to Phoenix. Thing is, you know, everything bounced the way of N. Lex. Eh. May pagkakataon talaga itong uh, Phoenix Pulse na tapusin ito. Of course, the two technical fouls on both Xiang Yao changed things up as well, giving Phoenix a little more space and uh, giving NLEX rather, uh, well, giving Phoenix a little more time no, para makabalik dito dahil doon sa dalawang free throws na napasok na. But in the end game, missed free throws, missed free throws, and yet they were still able to pull it out. Yes, um, uh, you know, pinakamalaking bagay dito is really the consistency of play of Phoenix. Kahit pa paano, they did struggle in the first half, but kung hindi yun na magayang kalamangan, Charlie, hindi ganun kalaki yung hahabuli nila in the game. So if all you have, they really have to work on is really just to be more consistent, most especially with the way they play defense. This was uh, the time that the last, uh, the final score was set. When Jericho Cruz was fouled on defensive rebound, made that one out of two free throws. And that's the final score, 87-85. Matthew Wright missing a three to win the game at the buzzer. And so that's where it ends. NLEX wins, 87-85. Phoenix waiting for the other results. NLEX is out of this conference, but they're getting ready for the Governor's Cup.